Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the show on Cloud9 with Dr. Halima Sadia. And today we have Prameshwari with us, who is a senior teacher at Al Kalam International School. Hello, Prema, how are you? Yes, I'm fine, Mom. How are you, Mom? I'm also good. So thank you very much for joining us. Kindly let us know about your educational background, about your family, and about your journey so far. Yes, I'm sure. Actually, I have completed MA in full economics. Um, I have studied in Lady to College, which is located in Madurai, that is uh, in Tamil Nadu. Then um, in schools, um, what is that? Uh, my ambition always, I want to become a teacher. That's why I studied that I have completed the in full letters. Then um, I am the first graduate of my family. I have three little sisters. And I go before three years, I got married. I'm living with my husband's family. I'm living in the joint family that I can say. That's all. No? Okay, thank you very much. And uh, you are a born teacher and you are the teacher by choice, not by chance, isn't it? Thank you very much for sharing this. Yes, uh, you know, teaching job is a very challenging job. And uh, yes. we, we always like come across the situations where we have to face lots of challenges. We face lots of conflicts. We face lots of uh, disagreements and uh, we have to uh, nurture the young minds to be the responsible citizen for future. So well, will you please share any specific example of challenging tasks that you have performed so far? Yes, ma'am. Sure, ma'am. When I was working in Madurai, what happened, uh, that is, I was working in the uh, government aided school. I got the opportunity to work there. Then I have joined there uh, in that first year, for me, first year. Even though I had that experience for five years in the teaching, but that in the government aided school, I had the first experience, except to me, others were the government teachers. Then um, in that uh, school, uh, usually they used to do one program. Uh, we should say that is quality circle. So the short form, we can say that QZ. What in that program, what the people they used to do means they have to find, we have to uh, identify that uh, problem inside, of, maybe inside the classroom or inside the campus, whatever else, find, identify the problem and we have to uh, create some uh, solutions for that. And finally, we have to establish and we have to give the result. That is a, uh, one more task. That is the teachers, we have to guide the students to do these works, not uh, only by the teacher. That we have to guide the children. We have to uh, because I had the three uh, great three uh, students only. I had they are very small, maybe that nearly ten years old, <laughs> but I tried well. Then I got that guidance from my that colleagues. They guided me well. Then I uh, really I hard work, and then uh, I was working till midnight. 12 o'clock, I does not mind the timing <laughs> that is, I had the very big experience and I prepared that PowerPoint presentation, everything. And uh, finally, we uh, presented over the gate in front of the judges. We got that very good, uh, that is a nice experience. We got it, that very good result also. The finally, I, go, I won the first prize. That is what it was a very, uh, what is that, surprise for me actually. That is because uh, the, my senior teachers they didn't get the prize. I got the prize. That is, it was a oh, very congratulations, uh, congratulations. Yes. It's just because of your hard work, because of your self belief, and be, because yes, yeah, yes, have yes, the, and the teachers. Yes. Okay, thank, thank you so much, ma'am. All the senior teachers. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, Prema mm -hmm. at uh, Al Kalam International School is a team player or the solo player. Do you believe in team building and how you maintain that team spirit uh, among your colleagues and with all you are working over there? So how you manage the team? Yes, ma'am. I feel very proud to work at Al Kalam International School, Ramanadabharam District, it is, which is located in Tamil Nadu. That uh, even the principals or or uh, correspondents or the vice principal that are the teachers, everybody we usually be like the family members. 
So nobody used not to rule others. I'm so sorry. They used to give the freedom, whatever it is. But they instruct and give that instruction without to work. Uh, uh, our goal is without to make the students to study. That's why we we are working very peacefully. We are not restricting by anyone else. We are doing our work that is peacefully. That is, once we if we feel very uh, peace, we can do a lot of things. That environment, very good environment, we are holding. That we feel very happy to work there. okay so how do you maintain like uh, what is your uh, team strategy to work with everybody do you practice certain skills like uh, you have empathy you have uh, consideration for others opinions and uh, so what exactly you do to maintain to be one of the uh, key team player Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Actually, uh, as what about the programs we do in our schools? We uh, usually discuss with the teachers. We uh, discuss about that. We separate that. Uh, what we can do that we can uh, segregate that. Uh, that uh, teachers we uh, they have that uh, different skills. Those who can speak well, those who can write well, those who are, uh, who can create something else. Then we can among us we have to split up our box. Then we can do it. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. Thank you. Then we can help. Yes. Yeah, you believe in like uh, democratic way, so you have to involve everybody and take yes, suggestions and advices from everyone. Yeah, thank you. Now, yes, you, since yes, you are a working woman, and I know that you have the house, this household responsibilities as well. How do you manage your work and life balance? What is your mantra for that? Yeah. <laughs> So actually, I maintain the work balance in the sense means I um the time management. I believe that time management because that uh, the school's works will be there. Then uh, if once we come back from the uh, school, we have to work for that house. We have to take care of my husband, then uh, families, maybe that mother-in-law, father-in-law, <laughs> or the household works. We have to do that. We go prepare for that. So whatever I ask, we have to prepare. So even the school's work means so what are the works we can finish it at the school itself. We have to plan. And the house calls is the important. So before we go to that school, we have to prepare everything. Then we have to finish it on the time. Then we have to manage. And I go with the schedule. This is which is important, which is a uh, higher importance. So then I'll give that priority. I'll finish it the first up. Which one we can postpone so we can do it later? That I can do it at the last. I will do that. Based on what the importance, I'll give that a priority. Yes, prioritize the work. That is uh, really a great yes. technique. Yes, great technique to manage the balance between work and life. Thank you very much, uh, Prameshwari, for sharing such a beautiful tip with us. Now, uh, where Prameshwari is going? Thank to you, ma'am. Five years from now. What is your aspiration? Uh, aspiration as a professional. What is your future plan? That uh, professional I am doing. I'll be a good teacher. Is um, I'm maintaining the uh, respect from among this. Then any one of the students, if they go, means they automatically they give the respect. Now uh, what is that? They are uh, thinking thinking about me is like uh, advisor also sometimes. I usually, ah, uh, apart from the teaching, I guide the children. I, ah, uh, I teach the basic manner and discipline, how to behave inside the class, how to go, how to be, ah, uh, how to be a good citizen. Everything I usually explain. That is my aspiration. And uh, then uh, I want to become a one more thing. Apart from that professional, I want to become a business woman. That is. Wow, that is a great ambition. Yes, that's really a great ambition. You want want to be a businesswoman along with a professional educator. Yes. I wish you all the best on behalf of Edufam International Academy. We all wish you good luck for all your future endeavors, and may Almighty bless you and give you many more successes. Now, more power to you, Miss Parameshwari. Thank you very much for sparing your valuable time. It was nice talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ma